I have this great big giant idea. Where do I start? More on that in a second. Okay, so today I'm with Sam McLaughlin and Josh McLaughlin. And Sam and Josh were talking about uh, wanting to create more uh, games on the App Store, both for Android and iOS, correct? Yeah. And so they're talking about some of the different ones they have, and we stopped and I said, okay, what would be more beneficial? What would we come up with? Um, simplicity. simplicity. Simplicity is what I found to be the most important thing with mobile gaming is because it fits the demographic of the people who are playing. Um, most people who play mobile games just want to whip it out of their phone real quick, play it, put it back in their pocket. Um, kind of makes an issue when, when people delete it in two weeks because of that, but mm -hmm. we're trying to accomplish and find what makes games addictive, <coughs> and then we're trying to implement that into our own games. Um, we and found simplicity is really important. My tripod is sinking. <laughs> okay, so what I liked about what they said is, instead of now just starting to whip out games and create stuff, they're gonna spend a little bit of time pre-planning different ideas, and they're gonna find out, one, what makes games addictive. What has been the template of most successful games? And this is where I see a lot of people go wrong, which I'm loving to hear what they're starting to do, is that instead of that whole, let's just do stuff, let's be thoughtful about it. This year's class, as opposed to years past, we're very deliberate in our two-week cycles. Because if in their research they start discovering something else, they didn't necessarily waste time um, by prototyping a game that fundamentally wasn't going to work. And, and I think that's been the, 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 the rough part with a lot of people this week, yeah. is that they're like, oh, I'm gonna talk to a guy. Yeah. How many guys? By next Thursday, you're going to have what product? What deliverable are you going to give me? And that's kind of refocusing you guys how to think, correct? Yeah, we, uh, we have three stages with uh, templates. We first create a, um, an idea template, which is basically just paper. And we just we come up with some concepts and we see if that concept sounds good in our head. If it does, we will go ahead and we'll move on to the template stage, which can take around two to six hours to make a template. Um, and if that is received well and it seems fun, then we have a game to go with and we'll, we'll uh, further develop that into an actual mobile game. The other thing I really like about what they're talking about is, is that as they develop, as they do things in two-week cycles, they have a feedback group and that is our class. I'm mm -hmm. sure you guys are going to have other people look at it and yeah, beta test yeah, and, yeah. Get, and give their approval. Um, but this is the whole point of having a Genius Hour group or an innovation class is that as you start to grow things, you always are getting feedback. That Roth IRA mentality we talked about three weeks ago, that ideate, iterate, reflect, and adjust. Mm -hmm. Every two weeks, they're going to iterate, they're going to reflect on what the people have told them, and then they're going to adjust. All right, tell everybody where they can find you. Um, you can find us on Twitter at AJD Games, um, and that is currently the only social media that we have. However, we're going to soon move over yeah. to YouTube. Okay, so yep. at ADJ Games, and we'll have that. That's the link right, right there. Right there. Yeah. All right. <laughs> and then we're eventually looking to start up a YouTube, which like we'll have like weekly updates on the game. We'll actually show video progress because we were looking to start a like we were thinking of starting a podcast, but then that just be like rambling. Like, oh, today we added four new lines of code, so it'd be like useless. And it's not visual. Yeah. 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 So, so we want. So hopefully, you guys are gonna start a YouTube channel. Right. Yeah. And the benefit yeah. with the YouTube channel would be people can we'll provide user um, feedback. There you go. And thank you guys for sharing your progress. Uh, I'm sure that as you guys have updates, we'll make sure we get in on the show. Yep. See ya. Thank you.